true. I, I have never really been afflicted, with one exception. There was one season, right. and I thought I had a cold for months. I right. mean, it was miserable. So we want to talk about this year's allergy season, getting a lot of press for being bad. And Dr. Geethal Patel is an allergist with Mount Carmel Hospitals. Here with us this morning. Yeah, Good to hi, see you. Thanks for having me. So first, we've got to talk about it. Fact or fiction, is this going to be a bad season? They said, yeah, they said it last year, and it's going to happen again this year. They say it's going to be the worst allergy season yet. So well, what do they attribute that to? Is it just we had such a long winter, you would think yeah. maybe it'd help us a little bit, not yep. so much. No, we have a couple of things going against us. One was the very long winter, and it was a very wet winter. It was like we had a lot of rain okay. and a lot of snow. So the molds. So that, yep, exactly. The other thing is with global warming, we have a lot more carbon dioxide in the air, so that's also going to help nourish all the plants, so they're ready to release that pollen. Interesting, and I had also heard actually a story we did here on the air, uh, and I'm kind of sensitive to this doing weather, that because we were cold for so long that the burst of pollen is kind of all being released at once. Yes. And you yes. can see it. I mean, it seems like in 24 hours, all the buds came up on the right. trees. Yeah. So, I mean, is that true? Yeah, yeah, you're going to see it collecting on the cars and things like that. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of pollen. What is an allergy? So, an allergy is when your body has an allergic reaction to something that it's been sensitized to. So, pollens, danders, things like that. And was it just you're predisposed to this or can you actually gain allergies as you age? Or there, what? there is some genetic component. They say if you have one parent that has allergies, you have a 30% chance of developing allergies. If you have two parents, you have a 70% chance of developing allergies. Wow. So there is some genetic component to it. Now what about people like me who say, and this kind of varies on the season, I've never had allergies before, suddenly I do. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of theories as to why that happens. I mean, there is such an epidemic now of so many, such an increase in allergies. There's a lot of hypo hypotheses as to why. One is the hygiene hypothesis. Um, one, now we're so much cleaner. We use Purell and Clorox wipes for everything, so our whole immune system has kind of changed. Oh, um, so now that's we're not, not Lisa's issue. What's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, you know, that side of your immune system where you're fighting germs is not working as well. It's not doing as much work, so now the allergy side of it's in overdrive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What yeah. else? Um, the other theories are, you know, a lot more fast food, vitamin D deficiencies, things like okay. that. So. So for people hmm. who suffer from allergies, I guess your go-to is the antihistamine, first of all. Yeah. And a lot of people have to go the route of shots, but I guess there is something new that could be on the horizon. Yeah, so absolutely. With with allergies, I think, um, you know, some people do well with just over-the-counter medications or prescription nasal sprays, things like that. For, for people that that is not enough, they're gonna, there's other options like immunotherapy. There's two types of immunotherapy. One is the classic one where we've all heard of the shots. Okay. Um, and there's a new one now. Um, where it's sublingual. So they're actually tablets or drops that you place under your tongue. Um, and people like that a lot better than the idea of getting a shot. Is that okay. a daily so, treatment, a monthly treatment? Yeah, it? yep, they, daily. They, it's daily or weekly. And oh. I'm hearing that this isn't available yet. Is that true? So there, there are some doctors that are using it, but it's off-label. It's not FDA approved in the U.S. yet. People okay. in Europe are using it a lot more. Okay. Um, so, so is that just, an option for you or just not? not it's an really? option, it's just not FDA approved. Okay. Um, so, you know, we're kind of staying away from that for right now. For oh, right okay. now. Okay. And what explains, um, you know, one person has watery eyes, one it's the nose, one it's, it seems like the symptoms, they're very cold-like and all over the map. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Um, you know, some people will have a lot more congestion, some people have the runny nose, some people have the itchy, watery eyes, uh, just depending on where the allergen hits the mucosa and where the response and it doesn't is going to be. matter what the allergen is? Um, so it depends on, exactly, when it's the outdoor things like pollens and mold spores and things like that, you're going to have typically the runny eyes, congestion, things like that. Food allergies are going to be a different type of allergy, so it's right. a different allergen. Okay. Great. Is there anything you can do in your home? I mean, obviously, you can't avoid being outside, right. you know, with yeah, the pollen, absolutely. but what can you do inside? So, you know, I think it's important to figure out what you're allergic to, so to get skin tested to find out what your triggers are. Some people are allergic to dust mites. If that's the case, you can buy dust mite covers for your pillows and your mattresses. Oh. If you have pets and you find out you're allergic to your pets, then keeping them out of your bedroom. Um, and keeping them off your bed especially can can be some things that you can help. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much for the yeah. perspective. And if nothing else, you know that it's a bad allergy season. Yes. So you're warned. As for being allergic to you, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I've talked to more experts all over central Ohio. Love is a drug. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'll tell you. Doc, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having for me.